In our today's topic, we will be discussing about the paleontology as a science and in which we will be discussing about the fossils and evolution. We know that there is a strong relationship between the knowledge of the fossils and the evolution. Evolution is a belief that how the living organisms evolve from the simple life form to the complex life form and how it this concept was evolved with time and how scientists perceive that with the help of fossil we will be discussing today. In this uh, topic we will be discussing mainly two topics one is the progressionism and evolution and other one is the Darwinian evolution. The progressionism is uh, an idea that tells us that how life evolved from the simple forms to the complex forms. In the early 19th century, just like in 1820s and to 1830s, there was limited knowledge available about the fossils. And the scientists were not able to comprehend that how the simple life forms evolved into the complex life form. And in that time, there were some scientists which were proponent of the progressionism. Progressionism, as the name indicates, it comes from the progress. We know that how progress takes place. Progress is when someone uh, something evolves from simple to a complex, right? from lower to high. Anything that goes above and beyond its actual position, that is progress. And same thing was applied to the life forms. The scientists who believed that earlier life forms were simple and the life form was evolved to be complex in the later stages of time, they were called progressionists. And there were some scientists who were opponent of this idea. The Charles Lyell was a scientist who uh, who was born in 1797 and he died in 1875, he was an anti-progressionist. That means that he didn't like that idea. And so what, his, what was his idea? He said that life is in the form of cycles. Life evolves, it does change, but when it changes, ultimately it comes back to its original position. So the life is in the form of cycle. That means we can find the earlier humans in the past, but if we go beyond very early in the past, we can form, uh, we can find the human remains in maybe Jurassic period when the dinosaurs were uh, roaming the earth, right? So this was his idea of uh, evolution. And uh, later there was uh, the progressionism uh, is also called the orthogenesis. Orthogenesis is mainly comprised of the idea that we are what we are and how we became what we are today is depending that how evolution has led to it, right? So that means that evolution has reached us until we have reached us. If we have made a human, then it was written in our perspective. That means that there was a divine power. So scientists at that time, they were religious as well. And they thought that the uh, evolution works in a directional way. But there is no direction in the evolution. And then there is the work of Comte de Buffon and George Baptiste Lamarck. These are the two scientists who were uh, also very much uh, expert in the idea of evolution and they gave their own version of ideas. The Lamarck idea was the green chain of being. That means the life forms, they are evolved in the form of a ladder. Uh, he called that scala naturae, right? So the natural ladder, uh, what would you call in the Latin? So it was sort of a natural ladder in a way that the living organisms are evolving and ultimately they will be going up and up and up. Uh, the people who were in the old times, they are human today. And the people who are human, they will ulti ultimately be angels, uh, according to him. 
so it was sort of uh, his idea and uh, he also said that all organisms were linked in time by unidirectional ladder this is sort of a one way traffic and from simplest at the bottom to the most complex at the top and uh, then there was the idea of darwinian evolution right so uh, then comes the charles darwin 1809 to 1882 and he gave us the theory of natural selection we all know that and that uh, the adaptations and the natural selection that leads the organisms to evolve uh, to become one species to another species and that process is called speciation and he said that the species they are not uh, static they are changing organisms are not static they are not perfect forms they are always evolving and always changing he was first to say that and the idea of evolution by the common descent was also his idea that means the all life forms are evolved from the single living being uh, that would be simplest right and that simplest li living being when became complex he it gave right to many other living organisms but what was the problem with his ideas he didn't know that how the variation between the species could be harnessed to produce evolutionary change but after later studies just like study of the thomas maltus 1766 to 1834 he got the idea that how uh, human population increases the thomas maltus was an economist and he was uh, well versed in the human population uh, trends and he said that the human population how human population evolves and how its food evolves so there is a competition and in that competition only those people survive who are the fittest so survival of the fittest through the adaptation was the darwin's idea among the species and he wrote a book which is called on the origin of species in 1865 so after all of this work was done by the darwin and many people were uh, against this work and many people were believing and uh, uh, they were very much receptive of ideas of uh, darwin in the modern century when the 20th century began the modern genetics evolved and we know that how modern genetics is uh, leading the evolution so amalgamation of genetics with natural history which is systematics ecology and paleontology gave rise to the modern uh, theory of modern synthesis and with the help of this theory in today's time we have established the idea uh, of uh, darwin darwinian evolution by the natural selection and that is the idea that we have today for the evolution now in the last slide you can see the different ideas throughout the time idealism which is uh, believing that some perfect organism was uh, as we are today were there theistic evolution structuralism and mutationism but today that most accepted idea is of darwinian evolution